Back to another Transformers review. Today we're going to take a look at something from the animated line. Probably easily one of the better lines of Transformers by far in recent years. Um, today is the turn of animated Rodimus Prime. Or Minor, or whatever he's called. Um, there isn't really a lot I can say about Rodimus, since Rodimus in animated is one of those characters that didn't really get to do a whole lot because of the short lifespan that animated had, but his bio pretty much says that he is the commander of Team Athena, which you saw in the opening of Season 3. Um, and it said that he is the youngest, probably, probably one of the only few, probably one of the youngest uh, Autobot commanders next to uh, Optimus on Earth. And it said that even though his Sergeant Cup, yes, Cup did, Cup did appear in Animated, um, did seem as nothing more than a turbo revving punk at first, um, he did eventually earn the title of a Prime. Uh, his role in Animated didn't really get to do anything very much. It said that in, it said that in the uh, Allspark Almanac Volume 2, it said that 800 Stealth Cycles ago, him and Hot Rod and Scram and Quakeslinger and Blaster were signed to the Drill Sergeant Cup. And then Cup named this character Hot Rod, being for the fact that he, because of his cocky attitude and his flames on his chest. Um, and at first, Cup thought he was nothing but just smoke and flame, and he had no potential at all. But then, after, oh, what was it, um, during the final training exercise, Scram tripped and dropped a grenade near Cup, causing Hot Rod to jump on the grenade to save Cup. And thankfully he did, and, but thankfully the grenade was a dud. But, um, Cup then took all that Turbo Revy Young Punk stuff back. And then when Hot Rod got into the Academy one decade before the rest of his peers earned himself, he was pretty much given the title of the Chosen One, years of studying, taught him everything he knew about hand-to-hand -hand combat, and then he renamed himself Rodimus, and then afterwards he became a Prime. And he was assigned to Team Athenia, who you saw in the first episode of Transwarp, where Rodimus and his team... Um, def defended the space bridge 687030, I think it was called, against Team Char. And, but, th but unfortunately, Team Char pretty much overwhelmed Rodimus and his group. And then, with one final stand, Rodimus was about to take it, was about to have one final stand against Team Char. But then, thanks to Oil Slick, he, Oil, Oil Slick then threw a toxin of cosmic rust, which then froze up. Rodimus entirely, and that's pretty much it, all, all I can say about Rodimus. Um, voices aside, he was voiced by Judd Nelson, who, if, if I'm pretty sure a lot of people know, but especially Transformers fans know that Judd Nelson played Hot Rod slash Rodimus Prime in Transformers the movie, and a load of other roles, but, we're, but that's it for another day. Um, but yeah, after that, Rodimus wasn't seen after Transwarp, because Animated got cancelled. But... And this is probably one of the best things about it as well. Um, there was a comic called the Rodimus Minor Spotlight that was written by, I think it was, uh, Sean Flattery. This, this is pretty much fan-made. It pretty much tells the story of what happened after Transwarp, what, uh, what happened to the rest of Rodimus, uh, Team Athenia, and Team Char. It pretty much just tells everything about what happened. I'm not really saying it's official, but... But by this case, since animated is now gone, I think we can all say now that it is a part of official fiction. Since we never, since we would have thought that Team Char would have busted out Megatron at the end of the episode of the end of the final episode, but I'm I'm leaving the link in the description box below. If you haven't already read it, I'm getting I'm giving you a chance to read it because of fan fiction, it is probably one of the best written and probably one of the best drawn as well. Uh, the artwork's done by S. R. Ayers, and the story itself is very well written, so I'm definitely leaving it in the, in the description box to check it out. Anyway, now that I've rambled on about this, about his bio, we're going to get on to the toy, because there's a lot about this toy that I would consider to be good. There's a lot of other things that, consider, that a lot of people would consider this toy to be good, and you're going to see why. So I'll, so I'll see you in a bit, folks. Let's get to the toy. 
So here we have animated Rodimus in his alt mode, and I'm just going to come out and say it right now. Rodimus has been said by many to be one of the best toys of the animated line, and you're not wrong, this toy in its design is very impressive in both alt mode and robot mode. Let's take a look at the alt mode, because that's what we're looking at right now. The alt mode, of course, it is a red sports car. Let me just take off the weapon, because that's irrelevant to the this alt mode at the moment. It's a sports car, which, of course, if you look at the design, it's very much similar to how G1 Hot Rod looks. And that's, that actually shows a lot. Um, now, before you say anything, this is a very different version of, Hot, of Rodimus that I have. This is the the Japanese version, which is a lot better. And I'll tell you why. It's because the animated Rodimus, the animated Rodimus, the, the original animated Rodimus, has the sort of, what is it, a uh, red color scheme, which again is a very akin to the G1 Hot Rod. This version, can you say it's purple? I don't think you, I don't think you can, because the Japanese uh, Transformers toys have always been noticeable for being, having the sort of metallic colors. They have been, they have been pretty good, such as mo pretty much most of the Japanese animated line is all metallic colors, which shiny, shiny. But again, I am not disappointed with this toy. I really like this toy a lot. Um, it has it's a really good, it's a really solid alt mode as well. Very akin to the G1 toy. Um, of course, you can roll it along depending on which surface you have. The wheels do roll pretty well. Of course, if you look underneath. It, it pretty much hides the robot mode very well, aside from the obvious legs. But yeah, uh, Rodimus, man, uh, I like this toy. I'm I'm very impressed with the design and how well it looks, and just the fact that it's a really awesome toy. And plus, it's Rodimus. You can never have enough. You can never have too many Rodimus toys. And plus, I know that a lot of people have always said that I've always, I've, I've always had a very negative feeling about Rodimus Prime and G1, but we're not talking about that. No, this is the this is the main show we're talking about. So, alt mode, he's all good. I like him a lot. Very good design. You can see the Autobot logo on the top, and the very clear blue windows, which hide the robot head, which we're going to transform this toy now. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to just, first of all, unclip the feet, which hit underneath, and just find, just first of all, just disconnect the doors, which it's never easy to do, but what can you do? Right. There we go. That's one. And the other leg as well. And of course, just rotate these around, which you'll see that these are going to become the legs. So the first thing I'm going to do is just push up these engines, which are part of the legs as well. Straighten the legs out, pull the feet down like that. Like that. And then disconnect the arms, or the back of it. And you'll see the pipes as well, the little, uh, can you see the mufflers? Yeah, yeah, I think you can. So just pull out the arms, pull out the hands as well. Same with this one as well. And just lift up the top to reveal the robot head. Oh, one more thing, just push the engine away, which reveals the Autobot symbol for the chest. So push the, push the wheels in like that, and push chest down, put that up, and then lift up the spoiler, which we're going to come on to pretty soon, then lift the arms together, and here we have animated Rodimus in his probably bitching robot mode I've ever seen for an animated toy by far. Now, here he is in robot mode. Um, I like this toy. I haven't. I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm gonna keep saying throughout this whole review that I like this toy a lot. This toy kicks ass, and I just like its design. Now, let's go a little bit onto the head sculpt first of all. You can see the head design right there. This very gormous face. He, Rodimus has no nose. I'm just noticing he has no nose at all. Just this very silver face. It's very smooth, and of course the head can rotate the full. It can't rotate the full 360 because. It stops halfway, but it has some very good light piping, as you can see on the back. There we go. And but the arms, they can rotate the 4360. The legs can do the same. The hands, they have joints as well. They have two joints actually. Or oh, oh, pretty much all this toy is is just ball joint, except for the knees. But I really like this toy a lot.
They're, they're, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep saying it. This toy is really good. Now, just let me just stand this guy up. We're gonna come on to his weapon, which is his energy bow. Why Rodimus would need an energy bow? Well, pretty much you've got to remember that pretty much all the Autobots don't have guns, so this is what they work with. Now, we're gonna come on to that. So, pretty much you can see here that you the the but the, the, the these buttons right here on the weapon can pretty much just fire the missiles like that, which that's really nice. I almost had to, I almost had to think of this toy as being like a Robin Hood sort of esque sort of character, but hmm, maybe maybe that's what the designer was going for when uh, when he designed Rodimus. But who cares? It's awesome. So you can get this guy into a few poses. Just trying to get him into one now. Uh, trying to get him to stand, which is never easy to do. You want to at least try and put the bow in the hand like that. Which of course, oh, there goes the arm. One thing I forgot to mention as well that this toy does have some good elbow joints as well. Articulation aside, this toy is actually pretty good. So, and then just face the bow forward, and you can have it, and you can have Rodimus like he's just about to pull the bow back, like almost like Robin Hood. So there you go. Here is Rodimus in one of his many poses that you can do. This toy has some very good articulation in the legs. I always like to think that this toy has some very good articulation. It's very well designed. I'm trying to get him to stand up without falling over completely. There you go. Yeah, animated Rodimus. Um, get this toy. Like, right now, stop what you're doing and just get this toy. It doesn't matter which one you get. Either you get the American version or the Japanese version. Get him. I can't recommend this toy enough. This toy is very well designed. It's got a superb homage to the G1 toy itself. To, to the G1 Hot Rod, of course. But... Aside from that, this toy, it's just, it's a really beautiful toy. I really like its design. Um, it's impressive. It's probably one of the, probably one of the many better lion, probably one of the many better toys of the animated lion that a lot of people always go after. Um, since the animated toy, since, since the animated toy line itself is very good nonetheless, this is probably one of its achievements. And aside from that, look, look on the chest. Autobot symbol and the flames. G1 Hot Rod. It doesn't get any more awesome than that, folks. But yeah, um, get this toy. Is all I can say. This toy, this toy is just really awesome. You will not be disappointed. It's worth every penny. But that's pretty much more my word for it. So anyway, this has been animated Rodimus. I like this toy a lot. Get him. He's really awesome. Oh, one more thing I've got to mention. Spoiler. Again, awesome homage to G1 Hot Rod. And I am Skogrim140, and of course, like always, folks, thanks for watching, take care.